The group of young men who formed the 1913 Notre Dame team would change the course of history for the school and the game of football. On that team was a senior in named Newt Rockney, who was older than most since he did not start college until the age of 22. Rockney, the player after the 1913 season, was described as an expert receiver of forward passes and very clever and shifty on his feet. His quarterback and good friend was Gus Dore. Together they would change the face of the game itself. The two had spent the summer of 1913 on Lake Erie working to perfect their passing game, which would really pay off against Army. When coach Jess Harper took Notre Dame to West Point in 1913, it was the first time the Irish played a game east of Pittsburgh. It was Rockney who caught a touchdown pass to open the scoring in an aerial display that had never been seen before. The passing game opened up the run, allowing Ray Eichenlob to score two fourth quarter touchdowns in a 35-13 win, in which the New York Times said the Army players were hopelessly confused. Notre Dame would become a household word in college football, the forward pass would become the wave of the future, and Newt Rockney would become the biggest name in Irish history. While Rockney would make his most significant impact as a coach, he did not exactly embrace the play that brought him and his school to national prominence. Rockney took over the program when Harper retired after the 1917 season. For the next 13 years, Rockney coached Notre Dame to six national championships and had five undefeated and untied teams. His record of 105 wins with just 12 losses and five ties gave him a lifetime winning percentage of 881, which remains the best of all time in both college and professional football. But Rockney's coaching tenure and his life came to an abrupt and tragic end on March 31, 1931. He and seven others died when their plane crashed in a remote field in Kansas. Rockney's sudden death sent shockwaves through the Notre Dame campus and community. So much so, services were held that evening with the promise to hear confessions all night if necessary. Rockney was only 43 years old when he died, but the mark he left on Notre Dame and all of college football will last forever.